we need a continuity of access to every directory, if possible, be it a good implementer. Uh, on the other hand, there is no reason why every, uh, every directory implies the same policies for privacy, for fair thing, for, uh, let's say, additional services, for example, that we provide help uh, for filtering information for children, for example. But each directory has, uh, should be able to introduce its own policy, the, the way they think is motivated for their customer needs. Uh, one thing that we would read uh, and does not do is hosting information like a database, or like offering uh, facilities like email, like uh, chat, like uh, a document, uh, do the uh, conferencing. But that's up to them, but they, this is not typical of a uh, directory at the moment. So anything should be in a way uh, Created or defined according to the particular clientele or the particular user base who is to. Now, how do we access to that? At the moment, if you open your browser, you click on the name, you get connected to a host, a, a site, a website, or a email system, or something else. But you, uh, even though you don't know it, you're using only the account directory. It's uh, part of the, the parameters which are, uh, which are located in your device, in your PC, smartphone, or something. Or uh, maybe if it's not there, it's in the, uh, your ISP in the configuration. So even though you don't know it, it's only the ICANN parameters. So what we uh, think we should have is the ability to uh, use any parameters we want. In other words, we have independent name servers for that. Each, each uh, directory should have its collection of name servers so that they can access the own the directory. Uh, the, the way to, uh, to organize that is not that complicated. Uh, if you uh, organize directories within your uh, equipment, well, you probably would put uh, priority over the ones you're using the most often. And uh, no. uh, no. uh, no. uh, 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 in S, but by the directory, we can well organize the access to the information in a way that facilitates uh, the use by its employers. Right, uh, employees. Uh, I'll give, just to give you an example, within Windows, which is a very common operating system at the moment. In Windows, there is uh, one particular place in the, in the uh, network parameters, which is called TCIP properties. Well, how do we how to find that? Of course, it's a little bit twisted because everything is twisted with Windows. But it's uh, on the Mac, on the Mac computer, it's much, it's much more simple to do. But the trick is you look up the, the addresses at the bottom of this uh, site. You will see two addresses, which are two IP addresses. They are not the, just the addresses of the directory that you use for uh, getting access to the website. And you can put in there whatever you like. You can either let them as uh, you might have, or you may change them to other directories, which is your, your personal preferences. Example of that, for example, HTTP, CW, CW, CW exists, but it's crossed out. Okay? Uh, but uh, this, this site, which is actually not common words, which is a bit wrong to write. So we have a shorthand, CW.CW. .CW, which you will not find in a can. It's just that it's sort of a newsletter. Now, uh, another one, for example, is there was a newsletter for the diaspora. The diaspora, the Uyghur, Uyghur, I'm not sure they pronounce that. It's part of China, which is not only really a Han people, they're more of the Arabic kind of people. So, they're in a way, a little bit uh, isolated. 
but they have their own site which uh, can be used by old people from old people, people which are scattered around the world. And this is what a, a, a music group. Another example is the Barrio Poi in Germany. They have also their own site, the own directory. So they use it for organizing meetings, uh, disseminate uh, leaflets for their programs and so on. And that is not part of the Then they can have a Chinese university, the Chinese university, which is uh, accessible in Chinese. You have to the right hand side of the uh, slides. You have a domain name, which probably uh, Chinese can understand, uh, not uh, expert in that. But this is something which, again, you will not find if you're only using the ICAN directory. Another case is the UK University. The UK is recruiting. They try to recruit students from, from China. So they, of course, have to write things in Chinese if they want to find uh, what they're looking for. So they, they publish, and they, they, of course, have to access to the site, which is in Chinese. <laughs> Well, that's the, the, you know, the obvious extension that we need in the internet. It's a thing which is uh, customized to people. I think <coughs> independent from the monopoly. I would say at the moment, uh, you know, about NSA states buying and so on. So if it's independent from the USA, it's better. Way. And uh, it has to be, that's the measure of the thing, it has to be in the language of the people who are using the internet. And this language can be any of the, perhaps, uh, ก็ทําเป็นเจ้าของภาษาแล้วก็ใช้ภาษาที่ใช้ภาษาที่ใช้ภาษาที่ใช้ภาษาที่ใช้ภาษาที่ใช้ภาษาที่ใช้ภาษ
different communities to the web and to promote uh, cultural diversity and living with on the web. That's our main reason uh, to be present today. We are also present in the different uh, uh, meetings of the organization of the next uh, work meeting in Commission Society. Uh, and it is uh, what I consider very interesting for the uh, OEM, the uh, Organization International de la Francophonie, and uh, in particular for the course of the Fonds Francophone et Afrobu, French uh, Highways uh, <coughs> family. And uh, so we are now in the middle of the project. We uh, connect regularly seven colleges all over Europe, eastern part of Europe, Macedonia, Moldova, Poland, um, Romania, Georgia, and also uh, Belgium and France. And the project we have will end uh, in uh, several months from now with the uh, major festival of content, uh, semantic content in Ota in Poland. Um, thank you for for our attention. Uh, now, if it's possible, I would like to uh, um, give the floor, give the audio to my colleague uh, Kelly, which is in Yes, a big city near Brussels, and he is in charge, in particular, of all the pedagogical aspects of uh, semantics. And we will be glad also to recite your question if possible. Thank you. Kevin, are you available? Yes, I am. Thank you. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Kevin. I am here. And I work for the organization. My job at the uh, is, in fact, I'm a school teacher, so we provide uh, French and computer lessons, but uh, our specificity is that we provide these lessons to undocumented people or writers, which is quite rare in the area of the uh, but in the Timothy uh, project, uh, my job is uh, coding the pedagogical code, which means uh, that I have to collect all the equations or the equations of the pupils. Uh, and I worked with the teachers too. And uh, my job is to collect all them and uh, like put them on the pedagogical platform. Uh, in order to gather everything together and this is that also new and uh, every creation of the people uh, is uh, redirected directly to some skills, specific skills that are isolated and uh, so that we, we, we can uh, rely on specific skills with every provision, creation of the children. Um, the is uh, dedicated French language as well, uh, from classes of teachers in Central Europe. Creation can be in digital arts or uh, something about native language or French tales. Uh, but the project aims to be one that bridges those uh, between uh, uh, a very extensive based on the music, but also the memory and to improve the like the way that the process of the memory and the Question and answer is an overview of a lot of things to be done. Uh, in the end of that project, I mean, a lot of people will be put uh, out from the learning methodology of the other reports on enterprise skills in the form of an industry. I'm not going to talk too much about this. Uh, and this one is what I'm going to introduce myself and I'm grateful for what I'm doing. Thank you for your attention. And I I will now let my my colleague show show this conversation. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, simply, I would like to uh, just uh, mention now what our objective as regards 
the India Summit might be a mission. I think we, we will try to provide a small contribution because we are a small part of a small organization, but uh, in fact it is quite unique that we can provide the experiment of several languages you know, online, producing content, producing content uh, for a uh, new generation of uh, uh, connected uh, young and also provide maybe something specific about the situation of Europe and the specificity of language, uh, the French as the uh, Indian lingua for all these projects, but this could be useful for lots of projects, concrete projects on the ground, because we need uh, several uh, languages, like the uh, uh, as I said, Polish, uh, Romanian, Chapo-Croat, Macedonian, and the each interface with text, with audio also, with image and sound, and it is quite unique. It is great, and then this would be my last comment. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it was based on a very successful experiment in the city of Jet, which is called Web Not More. In fact, it was the production of uh, web banding books, web clips, by young people, migrants, coming from migration, immigration in the edge. And it was considered very successful in the city, but to learn to ICT and also to learn French, because migrants, some of the migrants, migrant child, were able to produce themselves. Uh, the production, the radio, and could easily interface with uh, between them, but also with their parents and the community present in the region of Hill. And that's what we would like to, to experiment and go further in the second project and uh, in the next month and uh, in the year to present it at the World Summit of the Information Society. Thank you. Especially in the American continent, also in the United States. 
United States will become the biggest Spanish speaking country very soon in the near future, which is remarkable because uh, Mexico and, and, and Spain are, are very important in the language and also the rest of Latin America. But if you, for example, you check Wikipedia, you have one million articles in Spanish and you have more articles in French, one million and a half, one million and six hundred thousand in German and one million in Italian. So if you compare Spanish with other languages, uh, the amount of articles in Wikipedia is extremely lower uh, if you compare with the amount of native speakers that my language has. If you go to the content for websites, only 5% uh, of the content of websites is done in Spanish. And internet users by language, only 8% are from uh, Spanish native speakers. So, and at the same time, as I said before, Spanish is the second spoken language with more than 400 million people all over the world, spread all over the world. So, um, there are two reasons which we find important to create a local, relevant local content in Spanish. First, because people have access to that content. Not everyone speaks English, French, or German, or other languages to access relevant content to make, for example, an investigation to study or to find interesting information about something that they are uh, trying to understand. But at the same time, there is a relationship in between the prices of access with content. 75% of the traffic of Latin America goes to North America to access content. So this means that we pay in Latin America a very high amount of price for having this internet uh, capacity links to connect, connect with in North America and from there to Europe and other parts of the so if we could have more content locally, hosted locally, this amount of traffic going outside the region would be lower, and we would have to pay a lower price for international connectivity. And that would benefit the price, the final price that the user pays for the access. So this is why we find there are two aspects related with local content. One is that people can access that if they only speak Spanish, and at the same time, we are helping people pay less for their final price for the access. So these are the two aspects that we see. What we have done is, it's not easy to create relevant content because there is a lot of information in Spanish, but not really, um, not in really an academic level or something that's not relevant. So we started an experiment one of the universities where I teach, I teach at Universidad de Buenos Aires and I teach at the Diplomacy Career in Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And in the Diplomacy Career where I teach technology, we started a project, a Wikipedia project. We started to create articles that had um, academic level and subjects related with technology in Spanish, related with Argentina or with the uh, Latin American region. And the project at the beginning was a little bit complicated, but then, hello. Okay. And, uh, but then we were very successful. We, there were a lot of uh, new articles that I uh, could share with you by email or by uh, on the web if, if you're interested in. So, um, and those articles had, uh, we wanted them to have a academic level, so we, they were reviewed by the teachers of the of, of the career, and then once they were reviewed and, and, and approved, they were uploaded by the students into Wikipedia. This caused two things. They were very proud of their products, and at the same time, the, the content that they produced had, and it was relevant, it was good for other students, and at the same time, it was not stuck in a pile of paper that then finally you, you put in the trash one day or another. So, and just uh, by finishing, uh, I would like also to share with you that there are other interesting projects, we don't have time now to share, but there are other interesting projects in, in trying to use the internet as a space to, uh, to keep and to promote content uh, languages which are not spoken by so many people like Spanish, or sometimes endangered. And 
Itu kan tinggal balikin ke kanan terkadang Kita tinggal balikin ke ruangan kita kan Tertinggal di SMS aja ya Tertinggal di SMS aja Bulgarian, 
in order to improve that. I, I am I'm sympathetic to the questions of internationalization, and I think that they're important, and I think that they're, uh, they're an important question. But there's a technical scope here, which is simply how do you do this? And then there's a second one, which has to do with the uniqueness problems that you're talking about. For instance, the, the conflict between the .PR people and the Vigga um, application. I recognize that there are complicated problems at that, at that point, and it's possible that in any given decision, um, there is a political decision that is perhaps not the one that we would desire. But I think it's important to recognize that different from the, the technical question of whether you could do this in a different way. And I, I think that it is, it is slipping very quickly here between um, the technical facts and, and policy questions that I think one could have legitimate um, uh, disagreement about. And I think it's completely unclear to me which one of these you're um, rejecting. Right. You mean this critical? Uh, yes, it's political, and I guess that's uh, you can avoid that when you're dealing with things that are the whole world. The political issue cannot be ignored. So people may uh, want to do things in different things in different places, even though it may does not look uh, consistent from some part of the world. And this is going to it's going to last forever. But uh, the thing is, the technical part may be so that I guess again that's something that has to be uh, devised as far as the demand appears. At the moment the demand for for our names, uh, for our synonyms, uh, no one names in the, the DNS is relatively small. And on the other hand the DNS is uh, twenty five years old. So we think that in the next ten years uh, it will have to be revised completely, not just for the organization, but also for the kind of things. But we were uh, several of them coming into this whole name is that we have to call the DNS. So in the future system, things will be totally redefined. And we don't have at the moment to find the solutions which would be valuable forever. We only are looking for solutions which are valuable for the next five, ten years.
and the way there is less people and the less infrastructure. Uh, what we can change, and we, we cannot move our country from the south hemisphere to the north, that's impossible. And we don't want to. But we, what we can do is to create and promote the creation of content that is locally posted. So the traffic remains in the region. Luckily, all the countries of the region are starting to try to get interconnected among them. And it is fantastic for some countries which are in them, for example, Paraguay and Bolivia. Those countries are not directly connected to the international people that go to the coast. So the, the price that they pay for the international connectivity is much higher than from Argentina. Also, that would benefit uh, the, the rural areas of the different countries, uh, for example, and we have just like Brazil, Argentina, China. So, um, for, for one side, having the content is good because people have the relevant content in their own language. This is the first barrier that you, you don't have to face if you understand. But the second one is that having more content lower, but it, it would lower the prices that people at the end pay. So, who you think that pay for the international link, people pay for that. Companies just don't. Just pass Pass the price to, to the to the final user and the companies as well. So uh, this is why we think it's, it's important. But it's remarkable why uh, the Spanish is there is not so much content in Spanish. So we have to know that if you compare with other languages, we still have a long way to go. So this is one way thought that our project at the university was interesting. It's very small, but it's one step at a time. If we all do a very small step, then maybe we can do a different. Yes, Uh, um, 
servers which wanted from Google, from uh, Akamai and uh, .com and ICANN uh, root servers. So it's not only an exchange point for ISPs, but it's also a very good place for uh, installing these servers that help the um, managing the traffic very well. But yes, I agree with you. It will take some time. And also, what I find good is that the countries at the, at the national level and the governmental level are trying to interconnect among themselves. It's more expensive to make a call or send the information to Peru from Buenos Aires than to Miami, much more expensive, which is useless and has no sense. But it's like that. So perhaps if we have a ring that connects all the countries in South America, that uh, may help. But uh, yes, you're totally, I fully agree with you. Thank you. Udah, udah terus di upload, habis upload, makan. <laughs> 